These are all the ingredients that you need. You need some green onion, some cilantro, um, lime juice. I actually got this bottle of lime juice at the store just because it saves me time when I need lime juice. Um, two avocados, two cups of chicken, so I just got a rotisserie chicken because it's really tender and good. Um, some full fat mayo and some pink Himalayan sea salt. That's pretty much it. Okay, so you're gonna first take two avocados and you wanna dice these. The easiest way I found to do it is honestly just split it in half, take the pit out, and then if you cut it while it's still inside the peel, it's so much quicker. Um, so I do that and then I just scoop it out and um, I placed it in a little bowl off to the side and you wanna do this with both of the avocados. Then you're just going to add some Himalayan sea salt and also um, put some lime juice on it. It called for a teaspoon, I kind of just eyeballed it. Um, add however much lime you want and then just mix it up. Next you're going to take the green onions and you're just going to chop the whites. And I'm very weird about these, I don't know if I cut up green onions correctly but there's certain parts of the green onion that I don't like to eat so I kind of just cut that off. And then you put that in a larger bowl off to the side. Then you're gonna take the cilantro and just either you can chop it really fine or chop it roughly. Um, I just pretty much chopped it pretty roughly. Um, the more fine it is, the more the flavor of the cilantro will come out. So that's totally up to you. And then I'm just gonna put that off to the side and make the dressing, which is two tablespoons of mayonnaise, full fat if you're on keto and then also a tablespoon of the lime juice. And then you're gonna just cut off as much of the rotisserie chicken as you can and put it in a bowl with the green onion and then I just shredded it in there because it was just easier um, and obviously it's not going to mess up the onions or anything so um, that's what I did. I just shredded it until it was my liking and then you just want to add the sauce that you just made and mix that in. It looks like I'm using my fingers but I was using a spoon. And then you're just going to add the avocado after that and just roll it in. You don't want to like squish the avocado too much because then it will be more like a dip, like a guacamole. So just, um, I almost overdid it this time, but just be careful when you're mixing and not to like mush up the avocado too much. And then you do the same thing with the cilantro and you kind of just want to roll that in as well. You don't have to be aggressive with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And there you have it, some chicken avocado lime cilantro salad. It's so good. Um, of course, you can season it a little more to your liking. I added some extra Himalayan salt than the recipe calls for, uh, just because I'm trying to get my sodium in. But this stuff is delicious. I think you guys will love it. Thank you guys for watching, and my Facebook group is Keto with Meg Cat.